Hello everybody, welcome back to, well, it isn't another one of these, this is something different. Um, I did mention at the end of the last video I participated in something that was, for me, very interesting indeed and something I hadn't done before. Um, my friend Amy, who I used to work with, um, still sort of do, but not really, um, she tagged me in a random Facebook post where somebody was looking for somebody to take part in some filming. And it would um, it would involve looking confused and carrying something heavy. My interest was piqued, and I actually just mentioned to Amy um, on within the post that yeah, I was actually free. Um, I'd had some time off, obviously, because of my recent surgery on my nose, but I actually buggered up the dates, and I'd given myself an accidental free day where I could you know go out and do something. I replied to her saying, as it happens, I'm not doing anything that day. Next thing I know, I get a DM from the chap who made the um, made the post, a chap called Luke. Uh, he said, would I be interested? And I thought, why not? Not something I'd never done before. I had no idea what it entailed at all. Um, but I thought, not doing anything. I'm going to be stuck in the house for two weeks. Or stuck, you know, not doing anything for two weeks. So, so sod it. Why not? Um, as it happened, the filming location wasn't far from here. Um, so getting there wasn't an issue. Um... So, yeah, on the day in question, I turn up on site, which is just a suburban cul-de-sac, and there's some people milling around, and there's also a dog. I'm a little bit confused, so I pull up um, in a little parking space around the corner, and I walk back, and there's two people with cameras, and a woman, and a dog. and Well, there's another couple of women as well. And I've, So, hello, is Luke around? And they said, oh, yeah, he's the one over there mucking around with the for sale sign. Okay. And they said, oh, are you the man? It would appear I am indeed the man. And I look down at the dog and I realise, I think this is the heavy thing I'm going to be carrying. So <laughs> I introduce myself to Luke and he says, well, what we're going to do is, it's basically, it's going to be an April Fool's gag for the YouTube accounts for a branch of estate agents. Now, I'm not going to say the name. I'm going to tag them in this. Um, but basically it was, there's one umbrella company and there's like four subsidiaries uh, who concentrate on s different estate agents around the country. Now, obviously, with me being me, I am not allowed, I probably will not be allowed to personally advertise, and I would just like to put in a full disclaimer that at no point during any of these proceedings did this company give me any kind of financial restitution of for taking part in this. This is literally just an experience, something I hadn't done before. Um, I didn't sign any contracts, I just burnt an hour on a day off, that kind of thing. Anyway, I saw the legalese out of the way. So the the gig, the gig, gag is, well, I'll show you what the gag is because um, they went live on April Fool's Day in the morning um, on four different YouTube channels. Some got more clicks than the other. I think actually most of them may have been me pointing it out to people, like friends and family. Um, but a couple of disclaimers. One, this was shot at half past 12, probably half past one in the afternoon. I am in wardrobe, okay? This is not... This is not my house. I do not normally look like that. My hair, as you can see, is getting on the CC range, so I'm getting quite quaffed. I do need a haircut, yes, I know. Um, so, yes, so the, the gag is, open the door, and then I'm handed a dog. I'll show you one of the videos, I'll blow out the bits where necessary, um, and I'll carry on after you've seen this. Remember, I am not an actor. There's a little clumsy bit near at the start, which, in retrospect, I should have gone back and done again. Um, very much amateur dramatics, bless me. Uh, but here we go, uh, roll VT. Every home that we sell is in with the chance of bringing their soul board to life with their very own dog. And today, I'm excited to be knocking on the door of our very first winner. Come on, Rufus. Let's see if he's in. Congratulations, you're our lucky winner. <sighs> so, Rufus is all yours to keep. How are you feeling? Bless you, you're speechless. Well, he's all yours, so get yourself down to the pet shop and grab yourself some dog food. Amazing. Join me next week, where we'll be giving away a beautiful Dalmatian named Sid. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Yes, yeah, so, so that was that. Um, the dog's name wasn't Rufus; it was Cooper, and he loved me. He was he was a waiter, but as I said before, I work in an industry where um, I'm quite strong. I've developed my strength over the years working there, and so holding this dog was okay up to about ten minutes at a time. But after a while, anything you hold anything up for a long time, but. I had a way of holding it, so the leg, the front legs were draped over my arm, and the back legs were just round there, and I don't know where his bits were, but um, very, very comfy. And the dog, the dog's owner, whose name I do apologise, apart from Luke, I didn't know who any of these people were. Um, dog got very, very comfy on me and started to fall asleep, and then I had a lovely picture which I'll show you here, where the little paws were underneath the, um, underneath the jaw, and oh, the girls are getting into raptures. It was wonderful, but yeah. The, the the one I showed you was for um, what happened was after we did the main video, we shot it about six or seven times. I was opening that door and what have you. Um, and they basically clipped all the good bits together, including the close ups I wasn't too aware of, not too happy about, but you know, this was deliberate for that time, okay? All wardrobe is all getting into the mood. Um, so, but because of the company having four different branches, the last shot where I sneeze, which incidentally, my idea, and the lick was completely Cooper's idea, and it was adorable. Um, we had to shoot that four different times because the sign had to be changed um, for whichever district it was going into. The main body of the advert, or the main body of the skit, was the same, only the last bit was different. So to do that over and over and over, so it's been like Mill House over and over again from many different angles. But yeah, it was a it was a lot of fun, a great experience. Uh, would I do it again if I was asked? Absolutely. Yeah, that's it. That's what I did on my day off. Thanks very much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye bye.